Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Dead Island. Let's continue. So we've got a quest to go do. The main quest, I believe, is what we're doing right here because the other side quests don't really point us in that direction. I believe they, the other two side quests put us over here. That's one of them. This one puts us slightly there, so we'll make sure we get the voice from the distant sky, or voice from the sky, or whatever that said, and then the other one's right here. So right now, as it goes, we don't have a lot of side quests. Uh, I have been saying we're gonna pretty much just run through, let's see if we can, if we can really find a path here pretty much going to run through this four section. It's not an understatement. Okay, I see what the problem here is. This section is blocked off. We've got to get up there and go from that. So we do have one continuous quest of getting the cola nut or whatever they're called uh, plants the red plants on the ground where are we at at our inventory we're at 67 percent on this main story being done we have like eleven thousand dollars which is away. which is kind of low but it's pretty Let's take a look. Pretty decent start. So I suppose as long as we just maintain picking up more garbage. Which hasn't been a super rewarding thing. Let's just take a moment here. <laughs> I keep it interrupting, but just take a moment here to look at all the garbage we picked up. We've been non-stop picking up stuff since the beginning of this game many many hours ago we have 55 magnets we have like 19 steel rods one wrist watch uh, phones a lot of these things don't feel like they are useful for anything unless we have that very that one or two mods that uses that item are we going the right way I believe we are let's just follow it So this is a little interesting because I don't know if it's a straightforward path that's going to end up in a city or somewhere else. Because I think at a certain point we run into a group of natives who are somewhat familiar with the zombie plague. Uh, unless that's a completely different game. Again, I played this game the first time so long ago, it's hard to remember. But it's not hard to tell that this is, despite the fact that this is just a, uh, a, a forest area, it's also very much walled in, so there's only one path. That, that feels like this section I don't know, arguably maybe the prison section is even worse about feeling unfinished. But this section definitely feels unfinished. There we go, four hits needed. Go ahead and just use that medium med kit. It barely does half of our health. So there's a couple of guys there. Let's just... So there's a floater. He's got half his health gone already. Maybe that will take out the other half. Looks like over there, there might be some collectibles in that bunker. The 
eat some fruit. Might as well toss it over there. That is almost the right thing I would want to happen. I would almost want that to happen. So can I make it to this bunker? <laughs> Took a little fall damage there. Hmm. Well, if there's any way in there, that's... Doesn't seem to be the way for me. Got a thug somewhere making noise. Is this a thug or just a walker? What are we trying to reach? Here's a red skull, but it doesn't look like it's a pickup item. Nothing there seems like you could pick it up as a potential one of the other skull collectible skulls we've seen in this game and yet not been able to use. Just a little fruit here. Ah, cuts. These guys are new. He is not going down easy. He is not going down easy at all. There you go, take them both down. So this is definitely something new. And not something fun. I don't really have a way of beating those guys, particularly in a small area. Their arms are totally broken off. And it looks like they're using their bones as a weapon. And where we are right now, let's check the Voice from the Sky side quest. Let's not lose that. Anything will help. So these are our new bad guys, and he wa it wants me to go right into that. I think I'm gonna have to focus on the other quest for now. Uh, my bullets technically dead just taking a sweet time to decide it's gonna be dead I suppose if we run into another one of those guys we could uh, with the long hair we could try to take him out with our rage ability see if that helps any not a terrible thought here to 
to have a section where we're crawling through the water. We've had several other sections in the water where we've, uh, you've had the opportunity to crawl through them, but no real need, and certainly didn't help anything. Can't cut my way through that path. You would think I would be able to do that, but nope. Remember, I'm playing this as the Sharps expert. I have no clue how a blunt expert would have taken that guy out. Or a weapons expert. Or even the throwing expert. None of that seems like it would make any sense. Two weapon boxes to Mateo. What are you even talking about? Two weapons boxes to Mateo. I don't even know what the quest is. I'm a little lost. Just trying to get to where I'm supposed to be. Maybe there's something useful. Maybe. <clears throat> hey, I'll take that shoulder. So hey, you hear that? Someone's coming. Hey, someone's there. Where's those motherfuckers? Here we go. That's one. If I can take the gun, I might as well. It would probably be worth money. You're fucking dead! <laughs> I'm basically taking a bullet for a bullet, though. Every time I shoot. There's a guy right, right here, but he, I can't see him. Yeah, put that down. Yeah, he's just there. Large med kit, rifle ammo, pistol ammo. Let's see, do I, should I equip the other gun? I guess it's time. Time to equip the other gun. Let's see. Spiteful single shot gun. Might as well. Time to die. I can barely even see. I'm probably just wasting bullets. Ah, while I'm here, let's also drop something. Flimsy knife, not worth anything. Give me that large med kit instead. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Why are you? Now kill them! 
There we go. More coming. Shoot, shoot. Well, that certainly didn't help. How come the zombies didn't decide to show up then? Well, I'll have to find the car. Did he just use the large med kit? Sorry. I can't believe that knocked me down, knocked me back. So they're sitting there with pistol ammo, which means this this gun's not gonna really get any more full. And so we've got two crates. Yeah, it looks like one is way over there and one's over here. And what am I supposed to do? Can't hurt to look. Sluggish single shot rifle. Interesting. I'll drop that. Feeble shotgun. Let's see what our shotgun's at. Either way, we'll take that. Dead Island. Apparently, there's only one license plate in this entire world. Alright. So what do I do with this? Deliver two packages. Back. all the way this way hmm. yeah that's not gonna work I need to find a car that actually works That makes a lot more sense. Fortunately for us, they put the car. Where's it coming? <laughs> Missed it. Missed it on the timing. Another one. Three zombies, no pickups. Interesting. All this blood on the car. Alright. So ideally, we're gonna go here and do the side quest. And... Let's 
Sandy. And that doesn't look like we're gonna get any other side quests. There's like a hut right there, but why bother to investigate it? The forest, in a lot of ways, is trying to per perpetuate itself. I feel as though it's a very dangerous area. It's also probably trying to go about and explain how that there's a they were going to have some more off-roading in the game. That feels like something that would definitely have been the case. So is that the way in? I guess that's the way in. I'll leave the car here. And hopefully the car doesn't despawn. It shouldn't, but it would be silly if it did. Alright, here we go, inside here, we're seeing a couple pickups, let's climb up here, I think this is the guy we're supposed to kill, at the very least we can take the canned food. And we'll take the razor mod. And we'll take Easy, this. Drusha. We're coming to you. The whole island is surrounded by navy ships. We'll try to go around them. Hey, so that's the voice above the sky where the guy we were trying to call for help. So, as far as that quest goes, uh, we either finished it or we need to go turn it back in uh, to the guy in the bunker in maybe there's something inside the resort location let's pull out our weapons we don't want to be left ridiculously messed up here so this one does 400 I don't I'll sell that everything else is upgraded we have a sluggish shotgun here for 381 a feeble shotgun here for uh, 340 and then the striker shotgun is 544 so we don't need to worry about that. Then the spiteful single shot here is 374 versus any of those. So all of those are useless. Let's do the justice mod since we've never done that. And then that's apparently the only thing we can do. Looks like it has three times the potential of shocking somebody. But again, as a sharps expert character, I would never use that. Need to stick with the Venom weapon. Alright. So it seems like the cars have some small ability to stay where they're, they're supposed to. Somewhat. Although it that was absolutely not the case before. So we're going this way and this way was blocked off the first time. One can only assume we're going to run into something that's going to Come not. On, beat us. All right, that was interesting. I gotta jump out, I gotta heal myself immediately, I gotta pull out my gun. Where are you? How about a little bit of this? No, 
not working very well. They've got me pinned. How about that? You burn there. Where are you? How about this? We'll work our way back this way. They're not showing up. Am I safe? Is that the only... Nope. Am I safe now? How about now? It's hard to tell. Are you, how do you know if you're ever safe? So I guess the point here was that we were going to have a little bit of a fight and we needed to come out. Fun fact about Benoit, I swear it used Anything to say help. facts and now it's just saying Benoit Herald Extract Excerpt. Well, that seems like that area's been cleared. Let's go and take another med kit, get back in the car, and move forward. I was gonna just try and drive through there, and if I was better at driving, I would have succeeded at that. It wouldn't surprise me if we end up driving through several gunfights that just respawn constantly. So we've seen an increased danger in the new zombie type, which frankly I think we only see a couple times in the game. And then slightly increased danger in the humans because there's more of them, more of them have stronger guns, but only by a tiny amount. I don't think there's going to be any other increased danger in the humans, really. They're just going to constantly get more and more guns. That gate was opened just because it, the story wanted it to be. And this is going to be another one of these things where you don't just drive it up to a location. You have to pick it up and you have to walk to a specific point and find the specific point where they want it which is right here and put it down I can't believe somebody really worked on this system and didn't realize that it's just silly so much easier to just drive up and go yeah you got it it's done so did you take care of your business I took care of some of it I don't know if I took care of all of it We might fast travel. So, did you take care of your business? Uh, back to the bunker and just see what we need to do. You goddamn did it. You did what you said. I hold up my end of the bargain too, then. Spiteful auto rifle. Let's see, what do I want to drop in exchange for the spiteful auto rifle? Drop the feeble shotgun. I'll take you to Moen, but it won't be easy. To reach him, we need a boat, and the only boat we had was stolen by that bastard Afran. If you want to talk to Moen, you have to get it back. You think you can do it? Sure. All right. Great. Very hard difficulty. There is only one village in the Crocodile Valley that has access to the river. 
So my guess is that's where you'll find Afran. I doubt he would get rid of the boat. Get going. Take some equipment from our storeroom. It will help you get that motherfucker Afran. So apparently we can go in the storeroom now. Which has a bolo machete. Definitely want to get that. Let's see. Which one of these is? Take that. And then a swift auto rifle. So let's look at the rifle we're using right now. This one has a fire rate of 600. It's a single shot. And it does 374. I could get an auto rifle that would assumedly shoot a lot more. But I don't think that's really what I want. Bullets are never going to be so plentiful that that makes sense. Gee, I wonder if I could have come back and done this. Alright. Let's try Resort Bunker number two. As the fast travel location. Where's the guy? Kill Vargas and all that. No, there's no turning quest here. <laughs> Can't hurt to look. So that's pointless. Waterfall Bunker or the River Village are our two options to fast travel in the jungle. Which is in. Ammunis ammunition is priceless, use it wisely. Priceless or precious? I think it said priceless. I think I would agree with them. The way this game works out. Let's go to the shop now. The shop is open because we finished the first story. So we can start selling stuff. I think I've got something you might find handy. Interested? Alright. Let's start with what we're selling. Selling the dependable W uh, hammer. Here's a bolo machete that is 568 versus 563. This is 528. This is 544. This one's 508. And it's the Wicked Venom one. So I think we probably need to sell that. We'll sell the pistol for sure. 589 on the Magnum. 381 on this shotgun versus this shotgun. Sell that one. Swift auto rifle. We should, like, equip this. But I don't think I want to, so we'll sell that. Meat bait. I need to get rid of that. Quickly. We'll play with that, I suppose. And what does he have that we could buy? None of his weapons are really that useful. I think we, what we need to start doing is start buying large med kits. Small pistol ammo, $500. Small rifle ammo, $1,500. Shotgun ammo, 1000 Yeah, if you go insane, if you have, have nothing better you can do, I guess you buy ammo. Alright, so let's equip the meat bait as our first thing. And then let's see if we can create something. We could do the short circuit mod or the high voltage mod. 
uh, why can't we do a toxic mod? Because we don't have any bleach. That's what I would prefer. Prana mod won't work. Razor mod, two blades. No, that we probably won't ever use that one either. So if we could get some bleach. Boys, what do we have here? That moves. So watch your back. <laughs> so, did you take care of your business? So one of the issues here is that the the thing we are missing and that we're getting here I'll leave that one alone Savage Revolver I'll leave that one alone you might want to come back here every time and check this is that shoot the hell out of anything that because moves. they're trying to set an atmosphere and putting alcohol down there's also alcohol you can always pick up but then other times you can't pick up the alcohol oddly enough it seems like a mi odd mix match of things you can do and things you can't Let's run back to the store here and see if he has some bleach. I think I've got some. No. You might find you don't. him. Interested? Hi. Right. We're back to the Soldier of Fortune main quest, and that has us going right here. Which, in comparison to Death Wish, is over here and in comparison to spy game is the same location so if we're going that way we might as well just go do the side quest first where's our car that was parked here is the question that I'd really like to have answered does this car work, please? Good. So, this whole area is, as we can see, it's kind of all just driving around. If they didn't have us drive like three different times for three different missions uh, throughout the resort area, and this was the driving sections. It would kind of make sense. I'm, I'm a little surprised that there weren't people shooting at me right then. That area is almost certainly going to refill with characters. Here we can hear a thug screaming. There. The fact that the train goes up and down so much makes it kind of difficult to see where you're going as I run over a zombie. If they were going to have a better experience on this, they need to give us flat ground. I cannot right now, off the top of my head, think of any game where you significantly go up and down hills. There may be some racing maps in racing games that are kind of what, where you have one or two hills that you can memorize, but this is so hilly, this is so up and down, turning left and right. Ah, uh, you can't reach me. Unfortunately, I can't reach him either. I'm gonna have to see if I can maybe jump in the seat.
that just one soldier? That's all I gotta deal with? No. That would be asking too much. How about instead we do this? I just want to shut this gate so I don't get zombies behind me running up on me says there's one right here. Man, I'm just getting killed. Come on out, bitch. <laughs> Molotovs seem to work pretty well for these guys. Somewhat. Let's see. Take all these guns. Making the jungle safer for everybody. So where are these guys? They must be either up there Get em! or down below. I see three guys. None of them seem to be up here. So that makes me assume that they are down Maybe below. Maybe there's something inside. Dependable slicer. I will drop a gun for a dependable slicer. Why I pick up these things, I don't know. Alright. Let's see. Map indicates that they're all right inside. So, let's find the doorway. And if we get really lucky, we can just toss a thing in. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I think I just killed that guy by shooting his wrists. That's a powerful gun. Just blew his wrist. Right off. It would be cool if I could crawl under the building, but I don't think you can. Here we go. Oh, shit. That would have worked better if the glass was broken to begin with. So we'll just wait for that to stop burning. There we go. That's about all the Molotovs are good for these days though, is taking out... Taking out the... Those people. Jeez, where's the door you can open? Get off my feet! 
Ricky. Uh, I don't think think I can enter from any other end. Hmm. Oh, there. So the uh, one guy that's left is probably the guy I, I'm supposed to kill. Is he gonna try to beg for his life or make me an offer I can't refuse? Kill those fuckers! Doesn't sound like it. single shot rifle let's see what is our spiteful single shot rifle uh, we'll drop this and we'll drop this and we'll take these rifles instead maybe there's something useful they'll be worth more I'm pretty sure go back to the abandoned house and talk to Nick apparently it is the government causing this zombie apocalypse or at least covering it up if not causing it what happens if I shoot a fire extinguisher Wow I don't think that those would explode. I just have this theory that fire extinguishers don't explode when shot. Well, they are under pressure, so it would kind of make sense that they might explode. But it's kind of hard to believe. Did we search everything? Did we get everything? I think we did. I think we're done. So those are our two side quests. Let's see. Death Wish is go back to Carter, which is over here. And Spy Game is go back to the abandoned house, which is not even in this section. So we only have Soldier of Fortune now to go to to move the story forward. And it really feels like we've only been playing a couple hours in this section and we're already kind of feeling like we've exhausted everything. I mean, there could always be more. Let's see, can we turn this thing around? Just trying to do a 50 point turn here so we can actually see where we're going. Here's a problem with your your layout and if that car exploded or something there's no car here at the end point to to change or exchange it with. Little bits of zombies. Uh, attacking but even if the like a big guy attacked me even if a thug or a I don't know a floater maybe or the new hair guy the dreadlocks zombie if any of those attacked I'm not sure 
they'd really stop the car. They'd really be an issue at all. The reason these are just straight paths instead of there being side quests or people to rescue seems obvious that they ran out of time. That's what would have been here if they had more time to put side quests. You could easily have a jungle section like this be in between the city and the uh, and the resort area. Although I kind of like the concept that you would be able to just swim in the water to get all to all the areas. Except for the final area. Sorry. Car is more falling right now than being driven. We're gonna have to come out. Alright, that's the zombies taken care of. I wonder if I shouldn't be using the rifles. The area we just fought in, they weren't shooting with pistols, they were shooting with uh, with uh, rifles, so I was running low on Improving. Hey, I'm improving. What do we want to spend the money on? As we let's see, think here. Blade damage. Uh, we now have blade master. We can aim at the head of a fallen enemy to stomp. You can no instantly knock out your enemies by hitting them with a special attack by pressing right trigger and left trigger simultaneously. We'll try that. Next point we go for, we'll get our health up, and then we're just going to try and get rage mode all the way up. And if we have any more options, I'm, we'll have to consider from there. What is this, a crowbar? Pickaxe, wrench. Yeah, that's a high mic rifle I should have been using. Let's use this though. We had one scene like this before, and. Where are they? It wasn't very fun, and we're having the same scene right now. And it's not very fun because it's, it's just hard to see them. There we go, we can, we can try and focus a little bit more on them with our shooting. But that's not particularly fun. Alright, there's one more guy according to this. Military industrial complex challenge completed. That's probably shoot a certain number of bullets with this gun. I don't see him. I do not see this guy. There he is. Couldn't see him at all. Alright. So we got a little bit more negotiating to do here. We negotiate with our guns.
What's funny is if there was somebody with a good gun that dropped it, I probably would just miss it completely. There we go. How about we do this? I don't think that got any of them. Come on out, mate! Let's see. So, having poor visibility here, I'm mostly just spraying and praying with these bullets. There we go. That's what it was gonna happen almost certainly. We could not have convinced enough of them. Hey, this is interesting. So now we are just like inside the building. What a place to respawn. Maybe there's something inside. In the middle of this sequence. This is how you sneak behind enemy lines, I guess, as you just... Go up here, I guess. So we know there's a guy there. Somewhere. We don't see him. That guy's down. See, I think the rifle setup would be a lot better if it was a sniper rifle for this game. I'm missing him because of the roof. But as it stands, the the regular rifle just doesn't have a big enough scope on it. There we go. Little health. Reload. Let's move on. We're going a little late here as we're in the middle of this shootout. Although it sounds like that, by the sound of the music, that's the end of the shootout. Possibly. We'll just keep an eye on our enemy bar and see if any more enemies show up. some energy things and personal IDs.
complete the snack. Crouch down. Who do we got left? Come on, guy. Why am I doing that instead of drinking the energy drinks? That's one. What the? What just hurt me? So close. So, so close. And yes, I know there's an energy drink there and I failed to get it. They just lose all of their arms. You just blow off their entire limbs. That's where the limb system really makes no sense. It starts to be ridiculous. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get as many bullets back as I would have wanted. Oh well. Come on. It's just more of this? I won't do that. That would be no good. I kind of wish I hadn't wasted all my Molotovs. There we go. Well, I don't think I really wasted them as much as I used them. Really? Are we going to finish this up or is this just... More of the same. You fucking dead. Yo coming? So we got like 50 more meters to go. Come on. Let's open this, this has up. been going on for a little too long. Smugglers Marina. can't possibly be much longer than this. <laughs> Take the Kembo, whatever that is. It's still very much a pistol fight as we're going through here here how about this It's killing me! 
Yeah, I see ya. There you go. Take another one of these. I'm wasting so many. I could probably be going to rage mode too. Let's see. What does rage mode look like if you have a gun? That's an interesting question. Actually. Was this the guy we were supposed to kill? The leader? Watch, he's gonna come back and tell me he needs gas for his boat too. This guy just throws a grenade at me. That doesn't really matter. So, at this point, we are seven minutes over. We're at 70% done with the main progress. And I'm gonna leave it on a teaser here. Obviously, we're gonna kill Aphron. We're, get, we're doing a boss fight of some sort. It's probably not going to last very long. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.